Okay, so this tutorial is for Zach. He sent me a video asking how do you do this text effect. Um, and while it looks simple, it's actually very tedious and very complicated. I'm going to show you the video. I figure the engineers who built the all-new 09 F-150 are probably the same guys we all cheated off of in science class. We're thinking about pizza, they're thinking about aerodynamic wake properties. Crazy smart. Take fuel economy, for example. They gave it 21 miles per gallon. You can't get a truck with better mileage. And they didn't give up an ounce of power to get it. In fact, they actually increased the horsepower. Now that is some A-plus truck thinking. It's not just a new truck, it's a new F-150. Very nice spot. Um, first thing I want to tell you is that it wasn't just one guy who worked on this. It was like a team of people who did a lot of work in probably a very short amount of time. They probably like slept at the office um, waiting for things to render and they probably had working lunches and didn't have time for their personal lives at all. Um, all of these little elements here, they're all separate. The car, the dude, um, he was probably shot on green screen. Even this mountain thing, that's probably just done in Photoshop. Um, I think this shot extends over to the right. Yeah, it does. So it's probably like, whatever, 1920 times 2 is how wide that is. Um, all this grass up here, that's fake and probably created in Photoshop. And it's just layered on. All this dust is probably put in like at the very end um, but yeah very effective very nice uh, and they also put a nice texture on the uh, words here it looks like they've sort of given it this gritty texture and done some sort of inner glow to give the outlines a little bit of definition against the background very nice I don't expect you to go into that kind of detail because this isn't necessarily a Photoshop, you know, design class. What it is, it's a motion design class. Um, so I expect you to take the basic things into account, but you don't have to go and add textures and inner glows. They are a very nice touch, and I do think that if you're going to be in um, motion graphics as a career, then you should learn how to do this kind of stuff. Um, but for now, you're okay. So, let's see. Uh, what I've done is I've taken the the audio track from the spot, and I've separated it out. Um, I just did that using QuickTime Pro. You can uh, file, export, um, sound to wave. We have all these different options here. And I used sound to wave. Um, you won't have those options if you're using just the free version of QuickTime. You have to get QuickTime Pro in order to have that option. By the way, I'll also tell you that QuickTime Pro is an excellent tool for simply resizing video. If you've got um, giant video that's, you know, several uh, gigs in size, file size, and you need that to be a lot shorter to work with in After Effects, use QuickTime Pro. It's quick and easy and dirty. Anyway, um, so that's the spot. I've taken the audio out. I'm going to bring that into my comp. Um, how do you preview audio? Use the period key on the number keypad. If you use the period key that is next to all the letters, it's not going to work. You have to use the period key next to the number keypad. I also want to let you know that when you, um, if you want to make uh, markers on your audio layer, you can just use the asterisk key. Um, and you can do that while it's playing, so that if you want to make markers of certain words, um, just press the asterisk key as it's playing, and it'll put in those markers. I figure the engineers who built the all-new 09 F-150 are probably the same guys we all cheated on. So I marked 09 F-150, or something like that. Um, and you can slide those around if you need to, and if you double-click on those, you can add in a comment, F-150 and it'll show up so that you know exactly what they're saying uh, during those markers. Um, anyway, I'm going to delete that marker because I don't actually know what I marked. I'm going to delete all markers. There we go. Alright, so um, if you want to twirl down the waveform to see what it looks like, the shortcut is LL. Uh, 
when you do a preview or a, um, yeah, a RAM preview, you press the space bar or the zero key on the number keypad. If you've got the waveform expanded like this, it will take up extra time. That's because it takes After Effects some extra processing to show you this waveform while it's uh, processing the video. So what you want to do is you want to close this up when you're doing your RAM preview just to save some time. Okay, um, I think we can get started. All right, so let's listen. I figure the engineers. I figure the, okay. So it's nice to have the waveform open so that you can see when things come up. I'm gonna do, start a layer for I, another layer for figure. Oh, they're all in caps, weren't they? I figure the, uh, that looks a little small to me, so I'm going to make it just a little bigger. Oh, oh, oh. What I did is I accidentally grabbed this little box, the red little dot right there, and that scales. Don't want to do that. I want to grab inside of it. And what did I make that? 150? Make this one 150 as well. Okay. Um, I want to get my placement ready. Okay, that looks fine. Now they look a little wonky on the y axis, so I'm just going to go and look at the position for all of these. Whoops, P for position. And you can see that my y numbers are all, all about like hovering around the same number, but they're not the same number. They, you should make them all the same number. Um, 296, 296, and that'll just make your the quality of your work better. Okay, not bad. So he says, I figure the, and that's as the words show up. So the best way to have things pop on is just to have the layer start at that time. So I can either trim the layer using option open bracket, or I can uh, move the entire layer. So he's saying, I figure the, oops, hold on. All right, I wanna see what that looks like. I figured the I, I figured the good all right what was the next part um, I figured the engineers so the next movement is that these three words scale down let's look at it because I figure the those scale down and engineers scales up quite quickly too All right. In order to get these three to scale together, you need to make a pre-comp. Select all of those, layer, pre-compose. I'm going to name it I figure the PC. Um, and I'm going to put that in my pre-comps folder. There's going to be a lot of pre-comps in this project. Um, because certain things come on one at a time and then they all animate off together. So in order to do that, you should either pre-comp or you can uh, use parenting. I like pre-comping because then it puts everything all together in one pre-comp and then it saves you space in your comp uh, window. If you just parent them, then you'd have what, two extra or three extra layers here and it starts getting really cluttered. Um, I just like how you can package things as a pre-comp and everything sticks together. I figure the, and I'm looking at the waveform here so I can see that the word engineer starts here. Let's create the word engineers. Um, and let's 
look at this and place it where it should be. Okay. Next, uh, the word engineers scales from the top left corner of the E. So I have to move that anchor point. It's right now down here. Use the pan behind tool, grab those crosshairs, and move it up. Okay, the other thing that happens is that the I figure the precomp scales from the same uh, point, but it's not. The anchor point needs to be moved. Use the pan behind tool. Right about there. All right. Okay. And what we're going to do is animate the scale. All right. Uh, that's actually like the ending point of the word engineers. So I'm going to move to the end of the word engineers. I think that's the end. We'll see later. It animates in scale. Turn on scale. Um, let's see, let's move back here. It started off kind of small, something like that. And the I figure the precomp started here. Now, it's kind of difficult to move my playhead over and then like try to guess exactly where that key is, keyframe is, particularly if you're in an a really expanded view like this. Oh, I'm not really sure where that is. You can always look over here to your left and see if you can see that if I'm right over a, a keyframe, that turns yellow. That keyframe over there turns yellow. Now, the easier way to use After Effects is to use these arrows over here. That will jump to the next keyframe, either right or left, of the playhead. So. I can jump to this playhead to this keyframe up here on this layer and I can use that now to place my keyframe for the layer underneath and it's scaled down. All right. Uh, oh yes, and the word engineers. I'm going to go back to this um, tool over here again and skip forward to the keyframe. The word engineers popped on. Uh, so I'm going to trim that layer, option, open bracket. All right, let's see what that looks like. I figured the engineer, I figured the end. Oh, you know what? I did the wrong layer. There we go. I figured the engineer, I figured the engineer, I figured the engineer. Okay. That's approximately what it did. I think they kind of moved it up in addition, but... I'm going to move on because it's, um, this is going to be a really long tutorial. But let's see. I figure the engineers who built the, okay, let's do who, uh, and I think it was much smaller than that, something like, Maybe something like that. Who built the? And again, we have to place these nicely. Look at the position. Oh, those two are pretty good. 477. That one needs to be moved up. Or down, actually. There we go. Who built the? What does the waveform look like? Engineers who built the all new own. Engineers who built the all. Okay, so we're actually kind of over here. Who built? I think this is the word built. 